Well, we're at the Festival of Marketing at Tobacco Dock in East London. We're talking about customer experience. We do it a lot on Marketing Media Money, but the question is who actually owns the customer experience? Is it the marketer? Well, let's speak to the CMO, Jason Hemingway of uh, Thunderhead. Uh, you're saying it's not really the CMO. I'm not saying it's not really the CMO. I'm saying that the CMO needs to take it much more seriously, I think, going forward. And what does that mean in real terms well, across a brand-based business? So, so basically, in some brands, the CMOs are responsible for purely acquisition. Some brands do loyalty programs. What I'm saying is this customer experience is disconnected across lots of brands, and it needs somebody like the CMO to take charge of that and actually run a serious CX program rather than paying lip service to it. CMOs love outcomes. They love KPIs. They love to be able to measure it. So how are they going to do that and what measurements should they be using? So I think a lot of the CMOs that are more enlightened about experience look at longer term metrics, not just short term, although they are important, such as acquisition. They have to start looking at customer effort score. They have to start looking at metrics that are long term, like customer lifetime value, and really drilling into those and then looking at the experience across a brand. So not just how we get someone through the door or online, but looking at the entire experience that that customer has with that brand from going in a shop, going to the mobile app, going to the website, and ensuring that that gives somebody a, a service that is tailored really to what their needs are in that moment. What's telling you that that's not actually happening already? Well, there are lots of surveys that say that um, marketers are responsible for CX, but unfortunately, really, there's no real metrics other than kind of acquisition metrics that a lot of marketers use. Really, what's telling us is the fact that brands are losing customers to competition, the rise of D2C um, businesses are eating lots of established businesses' um, customer base. So what that's showing is that a decline in actual maintenance of, uh, of actual customers, so you get increased customer churn. We do see a sort of pattern towards the CMO role actually disappearing and, and those processes being absorbed across everything from operational roles, commercial roles and the like. Isn't that a symptom of what you're talking about, that those sort of KPIs, those outcomes are actually being absorbed into other parts of the business? Yeah, and I think it's good that they're being absorbed across the business. Business is actually focusing on the customer, that's great. I don't think there's not a role for a CMO at all because the CMO actually should be more in tune with the customer because they're the person that does the research, they're the person that has the relationship traditionally with the customer base. So I don't see it going away at all. I just think it needs a little bit of a tune into being more customer centric than maybe brand centric. Jason, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Hi, I'm James Wright, and thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.